you're like, ooh. So it's like, is it warm? Is it neutral? Is it cool? I don't know. Get a, get a root job done. <laughs>
lighter knots so you don't see them as much in your lace front and also giving you that money piece to frame your face and um, brighten it up in the front a little bit. Now overall I would say that Sunkissed Almond Rooted is a neutral tone color and that's just because it has a lot of prevalence of the warm tones as you can see here and they're in contrast to a lot of the cooler tones so it's like is it warm? Is it neutral? Is it cool? I don't know. So we're going to say it's right in the middle of neutral. Okay. Now I do get a lot of questions about what color does Sunkist Almond Rooted resemble the most in Belle Tress's previous line in their cafe collection. Now I do have brown sugar sweet cream here for you guys. And overall, I feel like these two colors would be the closest match. So if you are a brown sugar sweet cream lover, from the cafe collection and you're like, oh well, no, what do I do in the Luxe collection? Sunkist Almond Rooted is a good next choice. They are pretty similar. However, there are some differences. So Brown Sugar Sweet Cream is going to have the color codes 12, 22, and eight. None of those are in here except for the eight, which you'll find in the root. So they have a pretty similar rooted color. 12 and 22, you're gonna find a light golden brown in Brown Sugar Sweet Cream as well as more of a neutral to cool blonde that is sprinkled throughout this whole wig, giving it a really nice um, brown blonde effect here. What I find to be different in these two is how the blonde is dispersed along the color. I do find in Sunkist Almond Rooted that cool blonde is a little bit chunkier as opposed to lightly dusted everywhere. Now, I don't know if you can tell as much, but this is the Sunka Salmon Rooted, of course. I do feel like it's a little bit chunkier in the blonde, not as dusted over as it is on the brown sugar sweet cream. So if you want a little bit more contrast in dimension, Sunkist Almond Rooted is gonna give that to you. However, that's not to say that brown sugar sweet cream is not dimensional because it is a really beautiful dimensional color with hints of light brown, medium brown, cool blonde, golden blonde. It's a really beautiful color, you guys. All right, let's take this one step further and go on over to the Raquel Welch line. So I have here shaded cappuccino, and this is in the color RL12 slash 22 SS. So it has actually the same color code as brown sugar sweet cream. It has the 12, it has the 22, and it has an eight. So we're gonna have the eight root again. It's a pretty neutral root, but what I do find to be um, a difference between a shaded cappuccino and Sunkist Almond Rooted is that Shaded Cappuccino is going to have a little bit more cool tones in it. It's going to definitely be dusted a little bit more with a cooler blonde. And even though I do see some golden tones in here, they are definitely overpowered by the cooler blonde in here. And you're also going to find just like the difference in Brown Sugar Sweet Cream and in Sunkist Almond Rooted that the blonde is going to be dusted over a little bit more everywhere as opposed to Sunkist Almond Rooted it's going to be a little bit chunkier and broken up with all of the warmth throughout it as well. And just so we can see all three of them together, here's Brown Sugar Sweet Cream. I'm wearing Sunkist Almond Rooted and this is Shaded Cappuccino RL12 slash 22 SS. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful for you today. I know it's always nice to sort of dive into these colors, especially when you get a new color. I know there's not as much information out there when these new ones come out. So hopefully this gives you a little bit more insight as to how Sunkist Almond Rooted compares to other ones out there. Now, let me know in the comments if there's any colors that you are just dying to see or comparisons that you need from somebody and I will see what I can do. I mean, I can't make any promises, but if I see some general themes that pop up, I will definitely try my best for you. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye everybody.